you know Dom? Oh, I know Dom, don't you? Yeah, that's a good girl. I've always been a, a dog lover since I was a small child, and we've always had at least two, sometimes three of our own, and then we started fostering almost 20 years ago now with Second Chance. Sophie came to us about two weeks ago. She was surrendered to a local animal control facility. Her owner's housing situation changed and she no longer could have an animal. So uh, we picked up Sophie from the veterinary clinic where she had just had, had been spayed and had her shots updated and, and a thorough exam. And she's been a really easy dog to foster. She's housebroken. She's shy with strangers, but she warms up fairly quickly. She settled in within 12 hours or so. Um, jerky treats and little bits of rare roast beef are, are very helpful, but they have a sense that they're now in a safe place and are amazingly adaptable. It's really a way to give back and, you know, to the animal community and Another option besides making financial contributions, which are very important, but there's a real need for fosters who are willing to take animals into their home, do an assessment on them, uh, work with them if there are behavioral issues, if they aren't housebroken, to help them get housebroken. And it's, it's just another opportunity to, you know, to work with dogs and to find them great homes. Good girl, Sophie. Good job. If you love dogs and you haven't fostered before, it's it's worth a try. It's very rewarding. Is it some amount of work? Absolutely. Um, anytime you're bringing an animal into your home that's new to the house, you, you need to be watchful of it uh, until you know its personality. Um, but it's, it's very rewarding and it's a nice way to give back and to make both the animal and the potential adoptive family very happy.